Cairo residents woke up at dawn, terrified. The explosion was powerful as it was loud. Residents in far-flung areas heard it. He was about to sleep in the shop right across the street. Suddenly we had a huge blast. I thought it was a gas cylinder in the shop. We ran outside with our underwear. We saw dust everywhere, shops shattered, windows broken. We tracked the source until we reached the Italian consulate. There, children were lying in the street injured, covered in glass. The impact of um, the blast uh, going on about 100 meters away, uh, affecting the covers of the solid covers of the shops themselves and extending beyond and even across the street on the other side. Many residents have been reporting that um, the wave of the bomb itself has shattered the glasses, have injured other people in the other street. It has been believed to be a, one of the biggest bombs to hit downtown Cairo in a very long time. Parts of a vehicle were displaced across the scene. The police believe that this was a car bomb. It's not the first time downtown Cairo gets targeted with bombs. Many here want the government to put an end to these attacks. I want the interior minister to stop arresting these terrorists. Whoever they find from amongst them, they should shoot them dead at once. They arrest the terrorists, put them in prison, they get food and drink and go to trials, all at the expense of the Egyptian people, and they kill the people. Every day a police officer or army person gets killed. Enough of that. I want them all dead. In the last two weeks, Egypt saw an escalation in militant attacks in the Sinai. And in the capital, the prosecutor general was assassinated. Security analysts believe the attacks will get worse as Egypt is approaching the inauguration of the new Suez Canal on August 6, followed by the second anniversary of the evacuation of the pro-Morsi camps on August 14 where hundreds of supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood were killed when security forces dispersed their sit-ins in 2013. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.